I would urge all of you as journalists, there's no one who has a bigger megaphone than each of you. Uh, I know many news organizations are interested in other things right now. I know you all are passionate about foreign affairs. You're all passionate about world events and uh, humanitarian situations across the world. Uh, there is no better advocate for what is going on and shining a spotlight on the horrors that are taking place in Eastern Ghouta than each of you. If I can implore you, and I know you do this anyway as part of your jobs, talking to your editors, talking to your producers, saying this is important, this is something we've got to cover, now is the time to cover it. So many people have come to us saying, what is the United States doing about the situation in Eastern Ghouta? What can we do? The answer to that is we can shine a spotlight on that. That is what I'm attempting to do right now. That is what the government is attempting to do. And I hope you will be a part of that, shining the spotlight on that. Uh, I want to thank Elise last night. Uh, she had included me uh, in seeing a documentary. I'm not supposed to encourage people to go see things or do some things, but I don't care. I'm going to break that rule because I think it's just that important. A documentary last night called The Last Man, The Last Men in Aleppo. And it was about the situation in Aleppo, Syria. And in there, you saw the humanitarian disaster. You saw these selfless, selfless men who were leaving their families every day to go try to save those who were buried in the rubble who, or who had uh, been victims of attacks. Um, that situation is being replicated today in Eastern Ghouta. We don't have to see this happen this way. Shine a spotlight on it. Let the world know exactly what is happening. We will back you in this. I will assist you in any way I can in helping you to shine a spotlight on this important issue. Uh, Elise, go right ahead. And, and I'd also like to mention uh, one of your other colleagues uh, who uh, moderated the panel yesterday from Al Arabia. So, um, 